Thanks for checking out my videos. Um, this ring date is a little different from the other ones that we've done, and it's a little bit more events. It's not gonna be quite of a uh, tutorial kind of thing, or just kind of show you how I did something. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification button so we don't miss each other, like this video for me so everybody gets to see it. Lastly, comment if you're interested in seeing more of this metal work I'm about to show you. So let's get started. So today's objective is, um, if you remember from the other video that we used hot glue and plastic to make a ring, and I made this little thing, and it got really great feedback, like, you know, in class and around people. Um, so I want to take it to the next level and actually making a metal ring inspired by this. So welcome to my workstation and my lovely trash can right there. The things that I'm using are this lovely dabbing set. My mallet that is not metal, it has to be either the plastic or a wood for forming. There is a riveting hammer, it's made for riveting just that they're not as big as other types of hammer wire and my metal sheet. The metal sheet we're using here is 20 gauge. So it's easier to form. Here we have files. Two sizes of files, various heads of shapes, our sanding sticks, lovely label. These are kind of old, I need to get them out. My jeweler saw with tiny, 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 tiny saw blade. And my bench pin that is still on a loan from my college uh, ever since this pandemic. I did get a lovely bench vise. It's not the biggest thing, it's kind of tiny. And if you guys remember, this thing right here that is being held by the bench vise is a ring mandrel. So that's what it really looks like. It should be steel, so you can form your ring on it and use your mallet to hammer that down. Also got here my little Dremel Chicago Electric tools. It was a miracle that it fits such a tiny, tiny drill bit. Don't forget to hydrate, and when I'm super bored, I just watch shows while I work on sending stuff. Okay, so first things first, let me show you my darling piece. Doesn't it look so cool like the actual fish net in the ocean? Unfortunately, my my whole like design concept behind this is about you know saving plastic not contribute to the landfill as much and using everyday object to make a ring and make something out of it is a huge deal so this shape is inspired by the fish net when i designed this i have already taken into consideration of where i'm gonna put my pearls which is not a real pearl they're just plastic beads by this point, you're probably freaking bored of me telling you all the technical terms of metalworking. Welcome, welcome to a pretty chill work day at the bench. Since I have left you all in the dust and cut out my metal pieces already, here I'm just bending the fishnet into a wavy shape like the ocean. Please excuse my old and rusted pliers, I promise I'm getting fresh and new ones. Notice I put tape on them so they don't scratch my metal, aka matching with my glorious middle finger that I cut myself with the saw. Next up, we have a million rings who are all labeled with its sizes. I think I'm in about 5.5 to 6, depending on which finger and which day, and really what the heck we're eating that day. Also, I always double check the ring with the ring mandrel so I find the exact place to hammer my band. And here's the mallet. <laughs> it's a rubber mallet, perfect for forming without damaging the surface of your metal. And perfect for knocking over the ring mandrel. Of course, by this time, I gave up using the bench vise and I just used my thigh to hold it. Works just fine. And you'll get a happy U shape. And I'm showing you my palm excessively, I don't know why.
Next up, we are making sure we're using a steel platey surface to punch a dent into wherever you want to draw a hole. This magical golden pen is called the center punch. Why put a dent there? Because if you don't, your drill will wobble wherever they want and scratch up your metal. Ooh, insert drilling sound manually. <laughs> Ooh, take notes, kids. The wax is perfect trick for drilling smoother. More drill sounds. <laughs> Voila, here are our two holes to thread our rivets through. Oh, and don't forget to use a bigger drill bit to deburr, which means taking out the excess from the other side of your drilling holes. So much holes, wow. And after realizing that my ring is too long, I need to trim it off a bit. So dangerous, I know, and you probably know by now how I would cut my finger. Uh, and of course, my camera has a mind of its own and went out of focus the moment of it cutting off. Ooh, there. Next up, we're just gonna bend the ends of the U ring to form a little platform so it can hold my fishnet properly. Ooh, you gotta make it even, you know. Kind of bend it up a little bit. See the two holes on the fishnet and the two holes on the bend? We're gonna go ahead and connect them, loop them through with a piece of wire. Please fit, please. Yes, it fits. We're gonna trim it off not where my finger is, but way shorter. Like it's completely hidden in the pliers. Oh goodness, right there, little piece of nightmare, Ugh, I cringe just looking at this because the wire would just snap out like right there, oh. After many tries, I gotta get on to actually hammering down the rivet, it's called editing guys. This is also a challenge, at one point I even just malfunctioned and I actually hammered myself. Yeah, I don't know what happened. And after that, I basically just stress out and try to use all my tools in any way possible. Nope, not, not getting in there. And finally, I just ended up at the edge of my steel block. Perfect, right? Back to normal broadcast. Hello guys. So this like is a crazy mess that just happened. But I have succeeded to put rivets in this little thing. So you see those two dots? Those are crazy rivets, tiny tiny thing. And having to hammer that through the two layers was crazy. It drove me insane. Riveting is literally the hardest thing I have to master because it's working with such a small piece of wire. So I'm like broke out in a sweat just doing it because one moment I'm holding it too tight with my tweezer and just fly out and I'm like, I need to cut another one. <laughs> and because of my irregular forms, and shapes it's really hard to hammer that in so I've used um, my dabbing stick and I've used the corner of my steel blocking thing but because of the angles I have damaged the surfaces a little bit I don't know if you can see. when you look at the reflections there is not smooth anymore because I have chipped the surface a little bit so now I have to sand it off a little bit and just like smooth out the surface
It'll be better when I reform it and reshape it and add the pearl on it to be, you know, closer to this one. Conceptually closer, like, there is no way I'm going to cut out these little things, but this actually uh, resemble closer to the actual fish nets in the ocean. I am an earth enthusiast, okay? I try my best to not litter and waste stuff. So, but this pandemic has made it really hard. Okay guys, so it's really late today and I really really want to bake some cookies. In order to get this thing to be blue instead of uh, brown, I have to go buy ammonia or miracle Grow, you know, the thing for the plants. So, yeah, I'm going to have to see you back tomorrow, which will be right now. Well, wasn't that such a journey? It took me such a long time to cut it out and then to rivet it and do the whole thing. Thank you guys for sitting through the whole video with me. I'm really, really glad you're here. Lastly, I just want to say, you know, love the earth and it's sad that I have to take the damage of the nature for an inspiration, but it is what it is. And pick up trash when you see it. Maybe one day you'll find a deep sea treasure like this. See the beauty on the other side. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, I feel cute and want to put on a pinafore and so hopefully you guys are not judging uh, because the last time I wore this little thing didn't do so well. <laughs>